Michigan offensive coordinator Josh Gaddis is headed to Miami. We got to talk about what it means. It's Felix Sharp at Sharp Review on Twitter. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel so you never miss what we are dropping. Josh Gaddis is headed to Miami to join his fellow Bama coaching alum and Mario Cristobal. Tom Van Aaron of ESPN pulls a text from Gaddis that he sent to his players. It says partially, and I quote, Unfortunately, the past few weeks has told a different story to me about the very little appreciation I have here from administration. In life, I would never advise anyone to be where they are not wanted. Close quote. Taking a look at Josh Gaddis' re- resume in 2014, follows coach James Franklin uh, from Vanderbilt to be the wide receivers coach at Penn State. 2018, he's the wide receivers coach at Alabama, co-offensive coordinator with now Maryland head coach Mike Loxley. Think about that 2018 season. Tua Tungavialoa comes into the season as the starter as after being the halftime hero in the 2017 National Championship game. Uh, Tungavialoa sets the NCAA record for passing efficiency, and he's second in voting uh, for the Heisman to Kyler Murray. 2019, hired as the offensive coordinator at Michigan. Coming into, the, into that role, uh, expectations very high for one Shea Patterson, never really materialized. Two, by the time 2021 got here, the season got here, Josh Gaddis was firmly, firmly on the hot seat for Michigan. I mean, think about uh, Jim Harbaugh taking the pay reduction before that season, before they beat Ohio State and, uh, and go to the playoff. What does it mean for Michigan? You have to feel somewhat like the sky is falling. Uh, you, you finally beat Ohio State. Defensive coordinator Mike McDonald headed to the Baltimore Ravens. Offensive coordinator Josh Gaddis has this ugly exit from Michigan, and it's not really clear who he's taking shots at. It could be Harbaugh. It could be Ward Manuel, the, off, the athletic director. And then on National Signing Day, Jim Harbaugh is interviewing with the Miami Vikings. Of course, everyone expecting that to be the ruse for Harbaugh to get to Miami. I mean, we might have to thank Brian Flores for that making that not happen. So it appears that Harbaugh is going to stay at Michigan. But still, I mean, just a lot of question marks surrounding that Michigan program after their best season in years and years. What does it mean for Miami? It was bombs away in 2021 with Tyler Van Dyke and Rhett Lashley at the helm over the offense. He leaves for SMU. Who do they try to replace him with? They offer that job to Joe Brady after he was with LSU, with Carolina. He declines. It appears that Brady only wanted to be uh, in the NFL. He's going to join the Bills coaching staff. Gaddis wasn't the second choice, though. They offer the job to Arkansas's Kendall Bryles, but he re-ups with Arkansas. And so after uh, Lashley and Brady and Bryles, Mario Cristobal brings in Josh Gaddis. Putting this 2021 season aside, look from 2018 to uh, 2020, the Michigan offense really really regressed under Harbaugh and Josh Gaddis in 2018 rushing yards per game between 2018 and 2020 they were 31st 77th and then 98th in 2020 passing yards per game 79th 50th and then 44th in 2020 total yards per game uh 50th in 2018 68th in 2019 79th in 2020 and then in total points per game uh, 21st in 2018, 20, uh, 2019, 44th, and 66th in 2020 before this 2021 season. Those stats provided courtesy of Chris Breiler of Sports Illustrated. I'll post the link to his article in the description box. Let me know what you think. How should Miami fans, how should fans of Tyler Van Dyke feel about Josh Gaddis joining Mario Cristobal's team. All right, that is it for me for right now. Peace. Bye, Mom.